do I still use grapeseed oil? Of course I still use grapeseed oil. That is a staple, it ain't going nowhere. But I only use it for protective styles. I use it for my edges, I use it on my ends, I use it on my nape. I don't apply it on my hair itself, the strands, if it's straight, like if it's freshly washed, unless I'm planning to wear a protective style. Once oil is introduced to my freshly washed, conditioned, flat ironed hair, my style is over and I'm pretty much reduced to just wearing ponytails or buns. I will not wear my hair out if it looks way down or oily. That's just not a look I go for after putting all that work in. I use grapeseed oil primarily for protective styles. I will use grapeseed oil alone or I will mix it with various oils. grapeseed oil is still a staple of mine. Once I wash and deep condition my hair, I kind of forget about my scalp. So I have zero issues with flakes or dandruff or you know dry scalp or itchy scalp. I've never ever had those issues. Now I did have an episode when I had a very aggressive eczema attack on my scalp. That only happened once. That was a freak occurrence, never happened again. And it, was, it had nothing to do with my hair care maintenance uh, routine. It had more to do with skin allergies and stress. Since um, that attack, I do monitor my scalp just to make sure everything is kosher. And yeah, I mean, my scalp is fine. what my scalp looks like 30 days after not shampooing you can see the half an inch of uh, new growth here and I barely have any flakes and it's almost actually there's no dandruff at all I do use a dry and itchy scalp conditioner I do sit under the dryer with this conditioner it's called care care dry and itchy scalp maybe that has something to do with it I've been using this conditioner for many many years the lack of dandruff and I mean it is an anti-dandruff conditioner so that could be the solution that could be the reason why i don't have any scalp issues